I love the new, the new, those ones. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I'm a white Favorite rapper. Toy. My name's White Rapper. This, uh, you follow me down that rap, rapper hole. I like those kicks, are those canvas? Yeah, man, it's the nooks, y'all. They got yoga mats in the in the shoes oh, part, so, so that way it always feels like I'm standing on yoga mats. Coast, Ain't no West thing. Coast. Anyway, this is the hip hop version of the comment show. Everyone's gonna rap all of their responses to the comments. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> <coughs> yo, yo, yo. Uh, this f old dog, new tricks from Heroes and Halfwits, episode 35. It's a, if you're not familiar with it, it's a Dungeons and Dragons show that we do at Achievement Hunter. I've heard it compared to other Dungeons and Dragons shows, such as Twits and Crits. Uh, it's from Leo Rivera. He said, LMAO, Jeff. Hey, they're rappers. He was hated by the group so much, he took something they loved and touched. He did that part's not real. I, I'm, I'm rapping, and used. Uh, they're doing good. Yep. Grammar is not my strong suit. Fresh for an NPC for his own. Still, Bo Jingles is loved by NPCs. He is a fucking mastermind. Uh, dude, you're a fucking nerd. Stop with the D and D stuff. <laughs> Jesus We're Christ. Ooh. We got another hot D and D comment coming at you from League of Extraordinary Gyromen Part Two. This is from Cash Banks, Cash Money. So is League of Extraordinary Gyromen just a name, or are they actually changing character classes? When I first heard that was the new name for the arc, I was pretty pumped to hear they'd be mixing things up with the style, but it's, so far it's been business as usual. Hey. Not that that's a bad thing, I'm just trying to set my expectations. Well, my name is Elise and I'm here to say Twits and Chris is changing ways. We are doing a new storyline and we feel pretty fine, but that doesn't mean that the character classes are changing for the masses. Because, cause, uh, I bowed for the anthem. It's on the perfect poop. Dude, two podcast number 144. Agent Soda writes, why would Lawrence start an ad read during the part that Bones was clearly trying to show everyone? Never mind that they turned on the show to watch this one part, which is the exact time Lawrence starts an ad read. I was trying to start the ad read for like 10 minutes, man. I have to cut in somewhere, and it's always gonna be at a good part because it's all good, baby. These people know how to talk. So I gotta read the ad sometime. And I actually had, at that point, already delayed it by like five minutes, so. It had to happen sometimes, so it happened then. Uh, it, it amuses me when people are like, gosh, she's just such an asshole cutting people off. I'm like, no, they're cutting me off, actually. Think about that. Tell them, Lair Bear. Uh, this is, uh, you know how the last comment show I said that I don't normally take comments from the comment show? Well, I took comments from the comment show again. Rule breaker! I don't give a fuck. Ooh, I don't give a fuck. Face I'm crack. hard. I'm yeah. hard, I'm feeling hard. Uh, this is from uh, another comment show, I don't even care which. Jhorn25 says, so a fun house, we're all Sonic characters. Lawrence would definitely be Shadow. Ah, Bruce would you. be Tails. Adam as Knuckles. James, obviously, is Sonic. I didn't add the obviously. It's written there. Uh, Elise is Cream. Pretty sure we already had this comment on the show. I think we had that. That's cool. We can have it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tea party. Everybody's golf with Joel. Your raw man says, this was funny when I'm drunk after I fought with my dad. Thanks, guys. Oh, we solved your house problems. I hope it was just a verbal fight yeah. about like doing your homework or yeah, something. Wait, but he's drunk, though. Which you should do your homework in college for your law degree. Maybe he's in Europe. He's Are like you offering to be his new dad? <gasps> no. This is a comment that I picked. It wasn't given to me by Elise. Uh, from Off Topic number 97, it's called, uh, that episode was called The View. Uh, it's from Daisy E, who I assume is also a rapper, uh, said, I feel Jeff on the being sober thing. I don't drink, but I live vicariously through my friends, and at the end of the night, when I make sure they aren't dead, they are in my debt, and I get to eat their morning drunk food, and they get to pay. It's great. Two things. One, uh, I'm not like you. I don't drink, but I did. And I was the best. I was the fucking best. And if you don't just don't drink, don't compare me to you, because I would have kicked the shit out of you uh, in drinking. Jeff for uh, new dad! I stopped! <laughs> I stopped once I won the drinking game. And two, what you're describing is theft. Alright, this is uh, Cody C on Catch Me If You Can, the GTA 5 gameplay. Cody writes, you guys are sponsored but you guys are sponsored by GTA 5 or something. None of the GTA 5 videos you make are really that good, and there are a lot of great games you guys can do videos. Like Cuphead, for example, that you can pump out a lot of great videos on. <laughs> a 
lot Cody, of Cody, you're absolutely right. On Cuphead. Cuphead sucks, <laughs> first of all. Oh, Why would you? It was good for one video. You Could be Cuphead. Yeah. <laughs> died to the carrot? Oh. Why would you? I, I don't, I'm not known for platformers. Got it. Swish. It went right in. Why would you, if you're a rock star, why would you sponsor people that make GTA videos that aren't that good? I would, they, the comment would make more sense if he said, your videos are too good, Yeah. somebody must be paying. Yeah. Mediocre video, nobody pays for a mediocre video. Let me, let me cut you in on, on the truth of the matter. Uh, those videos perform very well and are constantly a subdriver, so they get a spot every week. Uh, the other videos we make, there have been people saying gameplay is getting edged on the channel because guess what? Gameplay makes no money, and it makes even less now that YouTube's not paying. So, got to keep the lights on. Got to keep. We got to keep at least full of yogurt. We got to keep Jeff sober. Because they don't mix themselves. From Catch Me If You Can GTA Five gameplay, from Monkey Man One Zero One One Zero Zero. Kevin Klein just won a Tony for Best Actor last year. A Tony? Who gives a flying fuck about a Tony? Yeah, for Tony's what? aren't that really good. It was for a thing called a, it's a Broadway play, the per man. Present Laughter. Conversation seems to have come to a standstill. <laughs> he was also in the new Beauty and the Beast. He didn't, get didn't win a Tony for that. Me. Did you watch the new Beauty, Jeff, did you watch the new Beauty and the Beast? No, I'm an adult. Uh, this is an actual comment that hasn't been read before. Uh, from the most recent dude soup. No, two dude soups ago. Um, we were having a discussion, at least brought up the fact about, like, you guess you can put garlic in your vagina and taste it. No, I had read that, uh. Taste it in your mouth? Mm -hmm. I had read that. Like, if you put it in your vagina, it goes. That's, that's, that was the, that's what she had read. I read it was unclear. If a were to put a clove of garlic in her vagina. Do we peel? That she'd be able to taste well, it Well, luckily, luckily to us. I'd never done it. Luckily to, for us, we, we got some scientific clarification from mm. a user named Tantalizing Butthole. Um, <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Elise was totally right about the garlic and vagina trick. Something to do with the chemicals getting into your bloodstream and shit. That's Doctor talk. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's um, very technical. Uh, whatever, who cares? The best bit is that you don't even need a vagina to do this either. Oh. Rub some on your foot and wait 15 minutes. Instant sort of garlic breath. <laughs> Rub some garlic on your dick today. When you abort a fetus, yeah. what did, did it live? Is it alive before it's born? I would argue that you could kill a child up to about three or four years of age and it's still not alive. Well, yeah. Uh, so I won't let this joke ever die okay. in the memory of the love child that Meg aborted. Oh my god.